At Carroll's Transport Depot, we focus on English cars, and um, I became interested in Austin's because it was the first motor car that I can remember from when I was three years of age. Our family had a lovely uh, Austin 8 uh, Tourer, much the same as some of these we have on display here. Uh, I'm standing right next to a 1940 Holden bodied two door hardtop. Uh, these are pretty rare, there's only a few in Australia. This is a fine example and we have a um, 1946 four door or six light saloon next door that's a lovely low mileage car that came up from Adelaide. And we have five tourers uh, going from 1939 right through to 1947. These are in butte condition and I enjoy talking about them. Uh, Austin Motor Company uh, became famous in Britain and um, it was very popular, or their cars were very popular in Australia. The bodies um, for the Austins imported here were almost invariably made in Australia and that's why, as I mentioned, this one is a Holden body and that's before Holden got mixed up with General Motors. Uh, well before that they were coach builders in Adelaide and the car immediately behind me to my left there's another Holden bodied 1935 Austin Coupe. Austin uh, is also interesting to me because uh, Sir Herbert Austin came out to Australia in the late 1800s as an apprentice for uh, the Wolseley Company and um, he was a smart lad. He went back to England and soon set about his own uh, motor manufacturing business. Um, and he was of the ilk of Sir Henry Royce and Charles Rolls and uh, Walter Owen Bentley in that he worked very hard at development. He was happy to work with other companies and um, for example we've got here an Austin Champ with a Rolls Royce engine. Uh, Austin and Rolls Royce did uh, quite a few projects together. But Austin um, was uh, famous in, uh, in England for his approach to the welfare of his workers. He, uh, for example, imported enough um, pre-built homes from Canada to construct an entire suburb uh, over at Longbridge just so his workers would be looked after and be happy. And you can see um, from anyone who's owned an Austin the love they have for that history and those motor vehicles.